I'm not playing that game. Now I even reject gigs. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not standing at a gig for eight hours. For who? Who, hey. who are you? Who are hey. you? Now you're making me stand for eight hours. <laughs> you put in woman on top, money behind, you're losing a game. Hey. Ain't gonna go, cause I'm the problem of you. Said I'd be fine, never the car, she calling a game. <laughs> Hi guys, today I'm one, I want to speak to Lisiho. Um, I want to talk to her about content creation and all that. I hope she's gonna give me the dishes because there's some other thing I want to understand. So I have questions for her. I hope she's ready for those. Let me just go live with her. There we go. <laughs> I thought maybe you're not around. Hey, don't no, mind. I don't am, mind but you, know, you know how Today this I'm thing just... is. It tends to be problematic. Like one time it's on, the next it's not. Maybe you're not following me, you know. Are you, do you follow me? No, I do not follow you. Full disclaimer, I do not follow you. I need to first know about you before me to follow you. Let me do this so we get it right so you can see me. <laughs> I don't see your face, man. It's like your cat here. What's happening? Oh yeah, it's nice. yeah, it's better. Oh wait, um, I was thinking now how I met you. You are a content uh, creator, and uh -huh. I don't know your other works. I saw you doing some TV stuff the other time. So <laughs> you should tell me about that. But there's a lot about you that that a person stands and say, "Wow, she's brave." So the first question I wanted to ask was, who would you say Leseho is? Yo, this is why I failed in school because I never Con knew how to. No, I meant I mean content wise. Don't don't go personal. No, no, no. The thing is, you see, even with content, let me tell you, I I told I was at a friend's house literally when this idea like sparked in my head. Um, I was sitting with her and I was telling her, you know what, I really like food and I need something extra to do. I need like a hobby or something. And I'm like, you know what, actually screw this. Tomorrow I'm starting a YouTube page and it's going to be all about food and funny things that I eat and just anything that I can cook that I'm going to put up there so people can just watch and just enjoy because I enjoy food. So that's literally how it came about. It wasn't like it was premeditated or anything like that. It's literally like I just woke up one day and I'm like, I need something to do. And then, yeah. boom. I love the... The content that you do, the food. Um, uh, something that stands out, though, is uh, the <coughs> the eating of raw uh, food. I, I've eaten raw beef before, minced meat, yeah. and all that. I've seen you eating raw liver sometimes. Uh -huh. uh, <coughs> why raw food? Why raw meat or raw food? Uh, what What's the idea with that? I so, just want to get into your head. <laughs> you can get in my head and in my body so you can understand. Um, so, <laughs> so the whole concept around eating raw food. There's wait, two wait, I just want to put a disclaimer. Yeah. Uh, I hope only adults are watching sharp. Yeah, look, I don't have any youngins who are following me, at least unless if they are using other people's faces and then it's like catfish or something. <clears throat> like that. Um, yeah. But the raw food thing, actually, there's two reasons. And the first reason is I try to test my limits, like in terms of my body. So I keep telling myself, if there's like a zombie apocalypse, like, like what are you going to do if there's like this, there's a zombie apocalypse, like everything is coming to an end. And it's just, it just so happens, sorry, there's just animals running around. Like if you've watched I Am Legend, that movie is just like in my head. I'm like, you know what? They kept hunting for deer, like Will kept hunting for deer. And if I can't like mix fire with like rocks and those funny rocks are not there and I can't find them, I must do this as raw. I must take it raw. So I keep telling myself, okay, just take things raw. Let's see like how much of your body like can take it. Because Kaloku, I enjoy sushi and half of the sushi stuff is raw. It's not even boiled or anything, you know. So then that's that was one. And then the second one was, I don't know if you know this guy called Bear Girls. Yes. So no, I don't know. Bear Girls is like, 
he sort of puts himself in situations you'll find him on like these travel channels he puts himself in situations where he just drops himself in the middle of nowhere and then he tries to survive he's like a survivor he tries to survive and he'll have a parachute and everything literally find a location like okay here he drops there and then he tries to survive with and he goes there with no water no food nothing just as he is with a bag and like extra clothes or whatever and then he goes and he tries to find food for himself and he literally gets into like okay he's going to take this fish and the one thing that inspired me from bear grills was when he was so thirsty and he took cow dung it was i think it was poop of some sort some sort of poop and was thick and he said that because of this um, poop is in this form of a shape and you find it near like a lake chances are it's got some water in it so then he would squeeze it like this and like there was fresh water that came out and he drank it and he's like if you see like this and he let, did like a demonstration he squeezed it out from poop like from poop i saw, I saw, I saw that on like, a movie somewhere like it was animal yeah, no. dung or something yeah Yeah, animal dung. So I saw from that and I'm like, okay, this guy's been doing this for like years and years and years. And he's so I'm like, okay, yeah. and he's still fine. He has a family and everything. I'm like, okay, so clearly like all right to or with insurance and everything. So I'm like, <laughs> ah, let me also just try it. Although not with cow dung, but I'm like, let me just try some of the stuff that he does cuz th- this guy would literally eat anything raw to survive and he'll tell you this is your guide this is what you look out for this is what you don't eat be careful of this and that's literally just what it is that's literally just yeah, what it because is because i'm i'm thinking now as kids they used to tell us about tapworms and all that or when it comes to pig meat you've never tried pig meat you do you never eat that right as in raw pig meat mm. raw mm. you will never play it around there would you I would. I don't think I haven't come across any raw thing apart from yeah pig. I don't I haven't No, I haven't done anything no, no, that has to It's fine. I was just thinking about it now, but let's not get it. I don't want you eating it. So, let's not do it. No, it's not that I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it because I was literally asking myself like What? why I haven't eaten chicken just yet. I've eaten all the types of red things that you can eat red meat and what 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 what. But I haven't eaten like chicken and i love chicken so i need to like take down a full chicken just in j not cooked but i'm going to wash it because of the blood chances are there's like maybe some parasites yeah. on there but and yeah the fact that chicken smells oh but you don't mind it's fine so uh I don't let's talk i love i love your content about food um on youtube and i see that you are consistent when it comes to content you're not that mean i make a video after a long time I don't even know yeah. when the last video was uh, so I I love your consistency how do you manage to stay consistent with the food and the experimenting because it's like new things every day kind of vibes where do you find this content and how to, like I want to understand so a lot of um my content actually the inspiration comes from partly lockdown because some of the stuff that you'd want to get you weren't allowed to get or you couldn't get it So I keep asking myself or okay let's go like for example with the lemon tart I ke- I went to this one place at Food Lovers Market and it just so happens Hore I can't find this Food Lovers Market tart anywhere else in Pretoria I literally went to every single Food Lovers Market in Pretoria I couldn't find it but in Joburg it was there and I'm like okay but this is ridiculous so I literally was like okay so Yeah so I I kind of I put two and two together based on the taste cuz my palate is very specific on certain tastes so I'd be like okay I need to know how to do this then I'm like I once did an accident where I put lemon and condensed milk in it maybe that's like the same taste so half the time it'll be because of some things I can't find at the store and I know that I've had it so you'll find like KFC does this thing where they bring in stuff and then next thing they're like oh sorry sis it was for promotion and then you know then it's like Uh, but uh, okay so then i'm like okay i need to learn how to do this stuff myself um you know see what's in the kitchen what can you do and then i just literally do it like i i work on survival mode that's my thing i keep working on survival mode like if push comes to shove tomorrow they say there's no this and this at pick and pay there's no more this and this at woods or wherever it is that you want to get stuff then i must know how to do this stuff myself huh? i must even learn alternative ways like for you know yeah. some other people too So that's just yeah, how 
I'm thinking about the, your content. It, when you are gonna make dough, when you're gonna make bread, you start from the dough and all the. You don't just buy bread from somewhere and then just cut it up no. like I do. And when I do food stuff, most of the stuff I bought and then I just mix <laughs> it up together and all that. So that's like super amazing. You don't have to comment on that, but I I love that about your your food and the experimenting. Um, Thank you. Oh, <laughs> here's what I just remembered. Do you know where yeah. I met you? I just remembered the first time uh, I had a, 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 a video review on DSTV. You were the first person who told me about the video yes. before I even watched it. Yes, now I remember. Yes. Thank you. I That's why I know you from. Yes. 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 I remember now. So um, I, spoke I spoke to you. I have to be honest. I spoke to because I saw it because I was busy with some stuff for DSTV Vela and J. So I yeah. saw your face and then I'm like, okay, this is new. I've never seen this. Um, but granted, DSTV is big. So I was like, okay, but this is this is new. Who's this guy that nobody told me about? And then I'm like, mm, Instagram is there for the friends and everybody. So then I'm like, okay, I saw your page and luckily it wasn't private like mine, thank God. And then yeah. I realized there wasn't anything that you had posted about it, yeah. what, you, what you did. And then I, I went through your time and I'm like, okay, but he looks like he posts stuff that he does, you know, and his YouTube stuff and what, what. So maybe, just maybe he didn't see it. He doesn't Let know. me just slide in the DM and whoops, a message then to <laughs> let him know. Yeah, that was amazing. Thank you for that because you made me aware. That was amazing. Uh, so <laughs> let's talk about your other works. <clears throat> you yeah. just talked about DS now. Whether you know how to make money, you should tell us. <laughs> what other works do you do, Joe? Uh, what 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 do you do? Like I can tell you about the social stuff. I can't tell you about the other stuff. Next thing, if I tell you about some of the other stuff, I might just be called up at the Truth Commission there. You know, I might just be the next one there on screen. But I will tell you about the social stuff. <laughs> uh, I'll slide into your DMs. I want to know the other business. Can we do? Oh, no. You know what? Face to face? There by my place. It's far from everything. There's no surveillance. There's nothing. This is yeah, why. Is nice. You see. So face to face. Let's... You see. You see. This is why I was saying, let me come to you. But no, you denied me access. You denied me full. I could have given you everything in here. Just dropped it like this. I could have just gave it to you. Um, the social stuff that I do, like the TV stuff, uh, it's... I don't even know if I should say it. It's not acting. It's just me being on TV when the opportunity presents itself, really. Yes. So I will dabble in anything that's anything because I used to actually work for ETV. And then I left to go do some other things that I cannot talk about because <laughs> so, it's literally outside of media. Yay. I don't want to be in the Truth Commission, guys. Please understand. So... You know, <laughs> I signed documents, so I can't do it. So anyway. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Confidentiality yeah, so, and all that, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So outside of outside of that, when I did work there, I, I started very young um, within media. It's always been, it had always been, let me be specific, it had always been my passion at the time to, you know, just get into it. But also... I wanted to try to do something different with the whole stuff of me getting into media. The idea was to make sure that a girl who looks like me with dreads oh, you know, yes. is, is given a platform to shine because there's not so many girls who are out there with dreads who literally get booked like this and like this. It's either if you're there, you're there for a telenovela for a very long running telenovela or your own yes. generation and your character is literally long running like you have a seven month contract or a one year contract with generations but it's it's difficult when you have hair like mine to break into the industry so i told myself that the reason i'm going to get into it partly outside of wanting to do things behind screen because i like behind the screen because you call the shots when you're behind the screen but yeah. anyway um the reason I went in front of the screen was because after I had learned some of the stuff that I, I felt I needed to learn from behind the scenes, I'm like, a lot of people want to be themselves naturally, not just with an Afro or with like your short hair. A lot of girls, banality dreads, but 
because the industry says Ish, sometimes dreads look dirty sometimes dreads you can't do much with it you have to wear a wig i mean one time they told me that you know is it possible that you can cut your sideburns can you maybe reduce your hair and i said no because if you don't put your foot down then it's tough we live this industry is is um one of those where you say you live in a world where it's either you take it or you you leave it and if so they I find think- a gap if they find a gap that's where they're going to get in and get to the top of everything like get you to do why they have exactly exactly so that's why i went into like the tv space and i did every well i'm trying to do anything and everything i still have to see myself on a billboard i'm not closing this chapter up until i see myself on a billboard wait so let's let's do this how much yeah. is a billboard you know what you and i should do now we get mm-hmm. a billboard man we put our faces back to back on that billboard for a month only or two months and then they take yeah. it, they take it off after i just say no that's a good idea. you know that's a, that's, 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 I'm think- it's a good idea Is I'm thinking like next expensive. year I'm going to put my face on a billboard with my own money. I'm not waiting for even if it's for a month or a week, no one cares. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? I literally yes. had that in mind. I told myself, "Hore, if I do not get it at the time when I feel like I need to get it, then I am going to pay for a specific space on the highway, not yes. just the highway." so that when people are stuck in traffic like tiki 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 they see oh who is that who is this who is this person is you know so that's just that's honestly what i'm going to do my last thing um in my head um in terms of this media side actually the second last thing is the billboard the last one is i need to be in a horror movie before i can just cut like before i can just cut that's just me Wait, i need to cut. do it. Are are you planning on leaving this industry to do other things? No, slowly slowly but surely I have been leaving. Um I haven't been doing a lot of auditions to be honest as much as I should. Granted um sometimes it's a it's a weight game because of sometimes the side pulls the side pulls and you have to make that choice. You have oh, to yes, pick yes, your struggle. Yes. So at times and also if the money is right I will be honest because money talks and half the time um uh, artists get ripped off. uh heavy very very heavy so you have to always just look at okay do i get royalties here do i not get royalties here can i negotiate here where you can because sometimes you can't negotiate but when you can you try by all means to you know do what you can but yeah uh, you know the question is definitely. now 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 my head is saying you are leaving the other thing a bit by bit Does that include YouTube or YouTube is Never. Like, life? Because YouTube no, is no, no. That, that, that's what I was thinking I'm like YouTube is life. Dude. No one is controlling no, 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 you. No. You're doing your own thing. You do. YouTube you YouTube <laughs> YouTube is going with me everywhere. Like literally everywhere. Even if I go to Greece like I told you that and I asked you that you're coming with me. I don't joke by yes. the way about anything. If I drop something I know, and I say I know I I realized I realized after after I read the message the second time I was like oh this was not a a, a comedy line it, it 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 doesn't sound like comedy you know <laughs> so she's serious so I know I know you're serious trust me so yeah, yeah. that will, will happen we'll make it happen thank you and I'm so glad you actually picked that up because a lot of the times people tend to say in Korea social media or depending on like the type of personality that you post out there it's just always fun and games and it's not always yeah. fun and games you know sometimes we do need to balance it out just a little bit yeah so when i said we were going to greece like when i go to greece i'm taking you with i wasn't joking in my books it says right greece one two uh venus one two and then i don't okay. joke i'm going to be like, hey this is and this so that's 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 one part i'll never I'll never leave YouTube unless if I don't know I die or something but <laughs> there's you a lot that you can poke up for YouTube you understand be a ghost I'll, really... I'll probably shoot Why like a 100 videos before I die bro just so that somebody post them week after week after week for the whole year no, and then you they'll... know what you do you put them there schedule them for 5 years You see? You see? Sometimes I do that. You know sometimes like I push myself and I'm like okay, next week I will not have the time. Then I'll t- I'll shoot like two videos and then I'll literally put them like this and then sometimes I'm like ah no, let's just work with this one and then let's work with this one and then I post it out. Cuz I'm like yeah. yo you never know. Yeah, like push come to shove you never know. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> can I can I tell you something? 
Mm -hmm. I've never told anyone this. There was a time this year where I was sure um, I'll be gone before the end of the year. Not because of COVID or anything. The reality is I didn't didn't know that uh, not sleeping was bad. Like, not sleeping, yeah, trust me. I didn't sleep for a long time since uh, I started working. I would sleep two hours, one hour, three hours, something like that. And the reality is that eats up your chest. You start feeling a hole or pain here. That's why they say artist needs to go rest for a week or something because Justin Bieber has been gigging for a long time. It's not because of the gigging. They haven't slept. Sleeping makes you um, relax the body to digest well and do these other things. And that was messing me up. I was really sure. I, was, I could feel my life fading away like this. A bit, I, I, I was not telling anyone, but I knew that uh, you'd see me here. I'm gonna die soon. And then I, I picked uh, someone said something like, uh, Most young entrepreneurs do not realize that um, sleeping is important because you go to work, you come back, you do your entrepreneurship, you do that, and then you sleep two hours. You feel like that's me pushing what, what, can't you? You're killing yourself a bit by bit. I could count the fade that this fade is going to be like, No. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm so glad that you changed that because yo, I cannot express how important sleep is. I'm a sleep god. When I don't sleep, it's because I'm either busy with something or I'm, I don't know, I'm maybe dancing with zombies in the middle of the night. But <laughs> sleep is a must. Sleep is a must. I do not play around with sleep. You have to, like, you will feel it in your body. And hey, my guy, respect yourself enough to just give yourself that time. Because the thing is, even thinking, sometimes I would have to do this to think because I haven't slept enough. That's very important. Sleep. sleep. So let's not talk too much about that. What's going on? Let's yeah, go back to the content it's stuff. Life. <coughs> I think it's life stuff. Like, it's life stuff. Like, we definitely need to talk about the stuff. Like, YouTube is YouTube. Content is content. But also, people need to understand who behind that YouTube, behind that content, there's an actual human being who's breathing. Yeah, because- and needs to also relax. Kaloku, you know, everybody, whoever it is, they get that sleep. We need to rest. Trust me, like resting is very important. I know now. I'm not playing that game. Now I even reject gigs. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not standing at a gig for eight hours. For who? Who, hey. like, who are you? Who are hey. you? And are you making me stand for eight hours? <laughs> who, who are you? If I don't have yeah. the money, it's yeah. fine. Let's live our lives without the money then. Um, yeah, yeah, no. I, I, don't, I, I, I went back to not caring much about the money than my health now. So that's very important. So let's make yeah. content. Let's continue doing the thing. I'm happy that you're not going away from YouTube. I'm sorry we yeah. went heavy there on the people. Do you have any advice for any aspiring um, YouTubers or people who want to join YouTube or content creation? Because you also do your content on, on Instagram. And your content on Instagram is different from your content on YouTube. You do the playful so? stuff, the dancing, and the and I still want those shoes with the wheel at the back, man. Those are mine. The I'll give you the fifty heat. rand for them. <laughs> I'll give you fifty rand for them. It's fine. Right. We'll talk some other time. <clears throat> oh wow! Okay, no, we'll talk about that off off screen. We'll talk about that <laughs> off screen. Wow. Um, for anyone who wants to do YouTube. Uh, first of all, first and foremost, I am not a life guru or anything to anybody who could be watching. But yes. if you're going to join YouTube, don't go with the vibe of being on, I call this a hype train. Not even the money. Like, it's a hype oh, the train. Trends. The trends. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a hype thing. And I really cringe a lot about the hype thing. Like, you know, when something is genuine, you will see it from the person behind the screen, behind the lens. Basically, what they feed you over and over and over, you will get if it's genuine or not. But don't go with the hype train. Do what feels natural and comes naturally to you. If it works for you and it is for you, do it. You need to find something that you know, okay, I can definitely do this for myself. I enjoy it. It has to be something you enjoy. It has to be something you love. It has to be something that you know, Hore. A push come to shove. I'm going to do this no matter what. But to join a hype train, you're going to lose it. Never mind the money. The money will come after. And secondly, do not focus on the money because everybody's focusing on that YouTube money. Guys. Yes. YouTube has a lot of new restrictions, regulations, and rules that have changed. 
it's somewhat a little unfair to content producers because we're bringing them all the content but yes. go through those rules and regulations know what it means understand it the music rights everything just understand what it is that you're getting yourself into be patient because oh my god people are so focused on the numbers of people every youtube that you see now it's it's either somebody telling you what you should use or what you can do this to boost up this and this like to a point where even instagram is telling you you you're allowed to buy followers like how much you got how much you got you know i've asked a couple of people on instagram wait, truthfully wait, 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 wait. I've always asked about these numbers. Hey, are, are there people buying numbers? I want those. Yeah, there are people. Yeah. They are people. I think, yeah, are. I think, I think what I like is the promos a lot. I feel like promos are like uh, a vibe that gets you the audience. I don't know about buying the numbers because the thing is with me, I'm chill too. I don't care. Like uh, you see now on the live, yeah? we have one person. I don't, I don't mind about that because You're like the me. idea for me, it's like, I'm making this content. Whoever's going to watch, they're going to watch. If they don't watch, it's for me. I'm going to be fine. I learned something from you. Today, I learned a lot from you. I look at the other lives. I'm like, what? This is how people think? Like, yeah. genuinely, like, you guys make me learn a lot of things every day. Like, today, I learned about a survivor <laughs> and finding a way to... to to be yourself, you get it. That I, I've, yeah. I've known that before because you know, you see me. I don't look like a copy of anything. So I I know you are not a copy of. Uh, if I were to see a copy of you, eh, I'll be surprised because you yeah, you are you. Man. You're like yeah. Oh, someone is saying hi, Lady Lisiho. Uh, it's prudent. Hi. You know, prudent. Yeah. The one thing about yeah. me is I hate people who. Actually, hate is a strong word. Sorry, let me just take that back. I dislike. No, 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 it's fine. You hate. It's fine. You can continue, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I really dislike it when people really seek approval. It, it may come off like, oh, people say this all the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the truth. Yeah. Nah, I appreciate this. So I appreciate you for being a genuine person. I appreciate you for making this platform because you making this platform, allowing us to be here, not only is for you, like you're also helping us. So now nah, let me just say thank you for even considering me. That young message, I mean, to me, I don't care if this is like a Zanzi magic audition or if it's you giving me an audition. For me, it is what it is, bruh. If you want me, I'm going to give you me because you appreciate me. <laughs> but I appreciate yes. you. Even going back to you, don't ever stop what it is that you're doing. If you feel like you need a break, take your break. And you're not obligated to tell any of us anything. No, no, no. Because people always feel like, but you left. You not. You don't need to. It's not a must. You didn't sign a contract with 10 million people that says, you have to tell us when you leave. You signed a contract with God if you do believe in a higher power or whatever higher yes, power yes, you believe yes. in. That is the only person you signed a contract with from the day you were born, unwillingly, not knowing. But yeah. That is that. So you keep doing what you're doing. I'm here for it, man. So we'll talk. We'll talk some more. And thank you very much for your patience. Thank you for being here. I was worried. I, I, I saw you were not online for six hours. I'm like, hey, maybe she's still busy. <laughs> doing the other things, you know? So yeah, yeah. it's fine. We will talk. Yeah, Stay well, um, keep well, and we'll talk, man. Like the thing is, everyone is unique. They do your own, their own thing. I'm unique. I don't care about the other person. I'm not copying anyone. You get it? So I just feel like, let's keep being ourselves. Let's make that content. If you want to make content, have fun. Who cares about the other person? And stop thinking that people care about what you're doing or why you do it or they're going to give you money or give you something. No one owes you nothing. No one cares about you. So <laughs> I feel like I'm... To telling people but no one cares about you do you do your ideas and make sure that you make your own dreams come true they hate it easy because they rejoice there's people they wish to be here